Hello YouTube, I'm Scott from scotthermanfitness.com and today we're going to talk about a good chest workout to do at home involving different variations of push-ups. Now, the push-up is a great functional exercise for two reasons. One, it's very convenient and two, it's great for total body coverage. Now the push-up, the standard push-up works your anterior deltoids, your pecs, and your triceps. And what I'm going to do is show you different variations of a push-up so you can then do them at home and get a great chest workout. The first push-up I'm going to show you is the standard push-up. The standard push-up involves you going on the ground, keeping your feet together, keeping your body very straight, your spine neutral, and then you're going to also put your hands about shoulder length apart. Check out this demonstration. The second variation of push-up that you can do at home is going to be a diamond push-up. Now a diamond push-up is everything is the same, your legs are straight, your body is straight, you have a neutral spine, but now you're going to put your hands on the floor like this. And when you come down, you're going to come down to right about here when you come down to the floor and then push back up. Here's a demonstration. The third variation of push-up that you're going to do is going to be a wide stance push-up, which basically means you're going to put your hands about shoulder length apart and then take them out about five or six inches. And then once you have that done, keep everything the same, keep your back straight, your feet together, your neutral spine, and then proceed to go down and up, touching your chin to the floor. Now the fourth variation of push-up that you can do is you can keep your body the same, keep your feet together, keep your back straight, but now what you're going to do is you're going to take your hands and usually you'd start about here or the, around, underneath your shoulders, now you're going to bring them down like this. And by keeping your arms down like this, it's going to cause you to use a little more tricep as you push and hit different parts of your chest. So give that a shot, watch the demonstration. Okay, great. Now, there's even more variations of push-up you can do. What you can do now is you can do elevated push-ups. And what you can do with this is find a, a surface in the house. Sometimes it's easiest to use a table, your bed, or a chair. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your feet up on the chair. And you're going to keep your body the same. You're going to put your hands on the ground. And now you're going to perform the same exercises that you did on the floor, but now with your feet elevated. Now, you might say, well, that was a lot of exercises to do. Well, there's one more way you can do it as well. You can also do them with your upper body elevated in the air 
which you can do the same thing on a table, on a surface, on a counter, or on a chair, and then perform the same exercises. Here's an example of the regular push-up and how to do it on an elevated surface. Now, as far as how many repetitions you should be doing per set, some research has shown that high push-up routine stimulates human growth hormone production, which helps with overall strength and size gains. With that being said, you should be doing, you know, maybe 10 to 15 repetitions per set when you're first starting off, and start off doing three sets. As you get stronger, do more push-ups per set. Now, if you find yourself unable to do a push-up in the regular starting position with your feet straight and your feet together and your legs straight, keep your feet together, but go on your knees. That'll help you build up and so you can do the push-up the regular way. Now, there's another way to do push-ups as well if you want to make it harder. And it's by using these things called push-up bars. Now, unfortunately, I don't have my push-up bars on me because I gave them to my older brother George because he want to increase his chest size as well. But, Luckily for George, where we share the same genetics, um, all it takes is a quick Photoshop opportunity and he can look the same way as me. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for checking out my at-home chest workout routine. Now remember when you do push-ups, you're also going to activate your abdominals, your lower back, and your quads as well. So make sure you do them correctly. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. And also be sure to check out my fitness website, scott at scotthermanfitness.com. Until next time, later guys. Oh, sorry, I forgot that was still on.